Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Alec Godwin, if you're meeting me for the first time. And uh, today, we're talking about the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K Pro. And experience, my experience using it on a major project, a music video, I believe, I believe that it will help you decide if this camera is for you and generally what you can achieve with the camera if you do get it. All that and more coming up. Alright guys, welcome back. Here we do music, movies, tech reviews, you know, short films and stuff like that. Uh, if you like to watch movies or like to learn how to make movies, then, then this is the channel for you. Um, but today we're talking about one of the tools for which um, I hope to make my full length documentary, full length movie. Um, I intend to write with this camera for a long time because it gives me everything I want with so much ease. All right, now, let me break it down, how I came to this conclusion. So if, if, you, if you've been on the channel, you know that I've made test footages, some of you like them. Yeah, that's a good test, but um, real life situations where you actually use it for the entire day. And actually it was a two day music video shoot. Um, the music video was for an artist by the name of Frida. Backstory, funny enough, 14 years ago, I was shooting a music video back in Africa and she was just a little girl dancing along amongst the others on set and uh, she's had it in her mind to work with me all along. She reached out to me and we've been planning this before the pandemic and I'm so happy that it turned out that um, we were able to do this after I got this camera because I feel like this camera was the best experience for any music video shoot. Um, let's check out some of the clips. Because I was, it was a long one-man band, I could not get behind the scenes. So uh, besides my GoPro that was attached to my neck, around my neck, um, I'll show you the device. Because of it's a one-man thing, I had taken the Pocket 6K because it's the same sensor. I was going to like use both cameras just to ease up some stuff. Uh, my plans was to, okay, you know, take a full shot on this side and take a close up on the other side. That way I can be a lot faster. You know, it was okay at first to, to assist with the 6K, but when we went out, having not, um, because all the uh, parts were, you know, in different um, hard cases, you know, 
my pelican cases them. Yeah, so um, I would take what I need at a time. And so I had this ready to go. This is Tilter and uh, the Nisi filter is in here. You know, this is how it was stored up in my in my bag. And I will be doing a review, a comparison between this filter and um, the internal one from Black Magic, um, and that's what I'm using. I'm using. The, I'm recording the Pro. This will be probably be my first uh, vlog uh, with the Pro uh, 6K Pro. Um, yeah, and this will be the first time I'm using the aud audio, and it's XLR with my Sennheiser, and you know. So it's all part of the test. What do you think? How do you think the audio plays out? Time management was so um, necessary to get everything done. So um, I soon discovered that the CISK was slowing me down. Like if I have to go set this up, that's a lot of time that will, you know, distract me from my shooting. So I ended up dishing the 6 k That's that's how fast this thing got me. It's like. I had uh, four Vima batteries ready to go, charged and ready to be used. They ended up being useful because I used them. I had to go to some spots without connection. So I used the Vima batteries to power up the lights. So they were really useless, but for the camera, I did not have to use Vima. What did I use? I started up <coughs> with the battery pack. Now, I'll talk to you about Las Vegas. Now, Las Vegas, the experience was the bat battery pack. And it was on point because I was all over the place. And I should make another video for my time out with La in Las Vegas. My experience shooting with the grip um, was awesome. I was like, wow, this is going to make me re go real smooth for the music video but not so you know so um, my point is that there will be time my uh, my advice will be have it ready have everything ready so i had the options ready i started with the grip and sooner or later i discovered that you know for me to be more effective because i i knew at some point i'll get it on the slide pod the Mozart slide pod yeah, that's what I used at the end of the day. That was the only device I used. I knew I was going to mount it on that, and there was this uh, little plate, one of these little stuff, along with this ball head. Um, this one is from Best uh, uh, Best and Photo or something like that. Best Best and Photo, something like that. So I knew these were going to be. I needed at some point in time, so I didn't want to rig, I didn't want to have the base plate there, so I just knew that I had to be ready to switch up and not be taking off a battery grip, you know, every now and then. So I quickly resulted, I have this charger that, that charges really fast. Um, I'll probably flash it on the screen. Um, yeah, so it was right there charging all the little um all the sony mpf batteries i did one at a time i did not switch up uh, i did not use the battery grip which would have given me three hours like i said that i used for vegas trip and three hours was enough for the day but for this now i was going to be doing a lot of handheld and it was i just needed it to be light and be ready to go to the next okay so it was one battery at a time and I still did not feel, you know, because it was ready. I, um, every time I was shooting, I had like two batteries in my pocket, ready to go. And the others were, so in all, I have about seven, seven of the MPF batteries ready to go. Now, it's three original from Blackmagic that I have, um, that I always use with the battery group. But the others, um, uh, third battery batteries, they are, very, they are good as well, so I have them charged every time. So, um, and, and, and what I would say if you're using this process, if you're doing this process on a shoot, 
you want you should not you should never depend on the one charger stuff you know so i have a two charging um charger unit a two a charging unit with two slots that's what you need i have four of those four of those chargers because most of the time when you buy them they come with their charger unit the batteries and charger so it's very cheap that is why i think uh, that's the best way to go you either run with the single batteries depending on your stuff or the um deck of uh, which is the battery grip you can't go wrong it was just so comfortable i didn't have to carry the weight of you know tripod when i put the camera on a tripod which i did a lot of shots with um the camera on tripod just like that it still was a nice experience like you know it was easy to just take off and jump to the next thing you know so um being my battery for me right now wasn't i had other stuff ready um, other power options which I will talk in another video uh, for those of you who who are not comfortable because I'm not going to say this is perfect for me so it should be perfect for you uh, but there are options I had them ready I, ha I have options power options um, I will talk in another video it was just a, an awesome experience I ended up dishing the 6k um, where I think the two cameras because I, I really do think you need two cameras everybody every professional doing this commercially should have two cameras and uh, preferably two of the same cameras so i head on to the 6k you know because i knew if this was the match made in heaven okay and i still think it is but it will be documentary it will be interviews where you need two cameras that's when i will use them by side by side if i have to run with one it's always got to be it's always going to be the 6k pro you know it's i know some people will say it's the same sensor but the results i get they're not the same bro they are not the same it's just there's just something about it it's um i had to just stop because i wasn't even maybe they're the same but this the inspiration the, the the screen wasn't even giving me the vibe you know i'll look over on this screen here same settings i look over here on my on the pro it's it just looks better like you know i'm just like it's 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 like a different camera honestly it's like a different camera now i know that i was pleased with and i'm still pleased with the 6k but the only reason i will use it along with this pro it's on an interview which i do a lot you know documentary interview set which i do a lot so it's not useless but if you only want to pick on one camera go with the 6k pro the experience was um, second to none i have never been so i, I mean it was a long shoot it was a two-day shoot but i only just it was like a breeze i did not feel stressed i did not feel panic i was on top of my game i was checking and you know checking the footage um watching out for uh, my exposure checking with false colors um using the evf sometimes that's my take it's here to stay man <laughs> even if black magic says you know what there's something wrong with the cameras everybody send it back we will replace it nah 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 i'm not doing back yeah, i'm okay Firmware, send me the firmware upgrade. That's all I need. I don't, I'm not letting this camera out of my sight. Literally. Yeah, that's how much I love this camera. The, um, what's it called? The screen and color shift that they, that is say, not claim, you know? I mean, everyone that I've had and I've known probably for a while and I know they won't say uh, um, trash, but it's still worth getting, even if there's color shift, because you can solve that in post. I know it's a lot of work, but with black magic, it's not a lot of work. It's not. It's no big deal. You will fix it. You're shooting raw, no problem. They will fix it. Hopefully, they'll fix it eventually, unless it can be fixed by by um, software uh, firmware upgrade, which I know. Then they can, they will accept their camera back, even if you've gone beyond 30 days i expect that black magic will replace it for anybody who gets in touch with them directly now 
that's what I advise you to go for the seascaper. Yes. And if you do get a blue tint, the one with blue tint, replace it. You see, when you get the right unit, my point is when you get the right unit, it will be worth it. It will be worth going through all the holders for the price. It will be worth going through all the holders to get the real one that works for you. Don't just say, oh, to hell, it's got blue tint. I, I can't take that. I don't have the time to waste. Well, go buy the Komodo if you find it. Enough ranting. I hope you guys learned something today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget 3,000 subscribers, three giveaways coming soon. And how soon, depending on how well you, how fast you guys take me there. So it's all up to you guys. It could be next week we'll be doing the giveaway if I get to 3,000. And um, it's going to be three items. I've said it before. One for 1,000, two for 2,000, three for 3,000. And we're going to ride it to till we are 10,000. Then I'll find another pr approach because then it's coming. It's going to be too much items to give away. So subscribe if you're not already. Like if you do like this video. Comment if you have something to say, correct, um, express, or uh, you know, share. That would be nice, but do it down below. Links, yep, will be in the description. If there's anything that I mentioned that you want to know more about, um, and then you can find the links or stuff like that, let me know in the comments too. I can get that done for you. All right, that's it. See you guys in the next one. Peace.